This summer of 2016 could go down as the hottest summer in five years across much of the US. So if your air conditioner is struggling, we have some important information on what to do and what not to do to keep it running. Tom Wendell's air conditioning is working for now. So I see you keep it at 76 degrees. But he's concerned his aging AC system may not be up for the challenge in this long, hot summer. So when's the last time you actually had it serviced? Uh, last year. Last year? I'm talking about replacing the modules. Serviceman Josh Patel says if your AC is going to fail, it usually happens the hottest week of the year. The system is working harder and harder. Uh, if it can't get proper airflow through it, at that point, again, your compressor's working harder outside, your fan motor's working harder, which works other components even harder. In Tom's case, Josh spotted an almost clogged filter, a no-no during hot weather. A lot of people ask during a heat wave, does it make sense to turn off your air conditioner for a few hours when you go out during the day to save wear and tear and money? Josh says no, it will take hours and hours to cool the house back down. Uh, definitely do not turn your thermostat to the off position thinking you're going to save some money. Instead, he suggests keep your central air on at all times, but turn it up as close to 80 as you can. Close blinds on the south side of the house and limit oven and dryer use, especially during the late afternoon. Tom's doing all that because he doesn't want a huge repair bill. Finally, if your AC is old and starting to leak, it may not make sense to top off the Freon. Just a couple of pounds of older refrigerant can cost $300. You might want to consider a newer AC so that down the road you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, 7 Eyewitness News.